Hey people, it's me again. So, anyways, it's one of the things I was going to talk about right now is that, is that I think I'm suffering from IBSD as far as that goes. I'm going to have to do that whole severe, awful, low potassium as far as that goes. So, and anybody that's like more familiar with like, the whole um, diarrhea that um, that sense of when you have a bout of diarrhea and like it, it lowers your potassium um, well, it just is, removes it removes too much potassium I mean when you have that out how to just there's a certain amount of potassium and you go into that whole uh, low potassium and I think it's far for the I did hit a bad diarrhea a couple of weeks ago, and then my brother was visiting me, and then I got my record out here, and then he left, and then I was in a little I mean, but I woke up a day before work, and I had to go to the ER, and it was also like, I saw some bouts of diarrhea, and now where it was, where it was like blues, but other times it was just that, it was just diarrhea all over the place, you know, you know, even if it wasn't, um, um, all that, you know, but I was, like, wondering what was up with all that, you know, so, and part of the thing that's going on in my life now, um, I think the reader called us is a little diamond and easy, and it was before we were in the pregnant and the insurer to keep my whole potassium level going up. I don't know, right? But I also had to watch out as far as making sure I don't overdo it and then end up going to the hospital for a high time. You know, I think I remember that if I probably had a high potassium at that time, I had, um, GERD and a bad gastro. Esophageal, esophageal reflux like this. And, uh, and they say that you, you, you have to take, take the booze, the prilocyte, or for or to say, you know, that, but it can be too much of it, of those kind of raises or things like that, and it causes the heart palpitation, you know, and it also kind of causes diarrhea, you know, but, but, but I think with diarrhea is a sort of, I think flesh not too much potassium. I don't know a uh, person in the medical field, so I shouldn't really say like, like specifically how that sort of something works and all that. But, but anyway, is like I don't know what if I had to go take any of these kind of drugs or something. I mean, I don't, I'm always like hesitant to, to take these kind of of, uh, there are certain like, like oral medication, you know, for a long time because I'm always like, concerned about the side effects and all that, you know. I feel like that way with like, that's like old Ebola back when I was like 18, 19, you know, and, and, uh, at that time it was like, 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 uh, mom would have said like, oh, you're just, you're just paranoid, stop, you gotta go, like, all this sort of stuff, and then she went and listened to me. And, yeah, I was having reservations about about uh, like, so and so long, you know, and, and uh, I don't know. I, I really don't know what it's going to happen and all that. At least as far as one, one thing I know is that. Said part of what Mr. Rolf also was like five years ago. That part of it was what was um, IBS missing high serotonin. You know, you know, and I think I had to start doing treatment for IBS. You know, you know. It's like, okay, I can't say it before about all that, but it, is that I was never really opposed to, you know, having my gallbladder take time out. It was 
simply, I just wanted to wait and see if it fit, if it fit more of the symptoms, you know, but it, it, it didn't really fit, uh, fit that much, and the fact that they were able to do the you need and to go if you are and all that, and, and I don't like being rushed into this situation, you know, when, when, not cut, cut out of it. I think that, that quickly on and I take my time and I go up in it. And, 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 and in general, you know, it's, it's really annoying with people that like, like, have rushing and all that. So I've always, every time I that sort of thing happens, it's like I, I always tend to fight back about that sort of thing because I, I can't think if people are rushing me. You know, that I, I intend to, like, shut down completely when people start to rush me into things, you know, and, and, not that I don't mean to be that hostile or anything of that sort, but I just prefer to take my time and all that, you know, but I hate to go off tangent about that kind of thing, you know, but it's one of those things that... I needed to address here about that kind of stuff, you know. But I figure, as far as the test results, there, I mean, and that'd be like well within the normal range, but I think I have to like make sure that I take the the potassium supplements if I need to, you know, just just in case if I have another bout of diarrhea, something or other, you know. Because then in a way, I think I did have that whole diarrhea, but I don't know what if it's just me not being used to organic food or something like that. But although the organic food is a little bit more healthier, or, or so they say, but you know, if it's healthier or, or less impact on the environment and all that, but then why does it have to be so expensive? You know. And that's just another story that I'm going to have to talk about, you know. So, anyways. I guess that's probably in 